So we're here at Low Web 2013 here with uh, Thierry Vézier. Hi. What's up? Well, a lot of things actually. We are launching just recipe.com. It's a new crowdsourcing platform that rewards people with cash money. So it's kind of cool. So basically, you know, like Airbnb is amazing, it's awesome. Are you the Airbnb for food? Ah, uh, no, we are better than that. Because actually, we are giving you cash money for your food recipes. So you can redo it all the time. You can submit like 10 recipes, 20, 40, 100. We can still buy it. So we have some members who did already 600 euros with our system. So it's kind of cool, and they are working with their favorite brands and doing a lot of stuff with them, so it's cool. You cook with your favorite brands and you get paid for it. So wait a second, so let's say a uh, cook, but a uh, homemade cook yeah. or something has a good idea for something awesome yeah. to eat. You write down the recipe somehow? It's just yeah. like a blog post? What no, is what, we, what we do is very simple. We make a, an offer. Like we said, do you love cream cheese? This is a very cool brand and we are looking for cream cheese recipe, right? Uh, so, cheesecake for example, right? So then people submit through the smartphone application the recipes, they take a picture of it, they send it to us. Our team is reviewing the recipe, we check if everything is alright, if the recipe is correct, if everything is working fine, and then we publish it and we pay the user with it. So then the user, he has a, his digital wallet, he can get all his money, and then he just needs to cash out, and we give him a bank transfer and he gets the money. So. You have a whole bunch of recipes, people get access for free or pay yes. or something? No, it's totally free. Actually, brands are buying the recipes. This is how we make money. Because brands, they need to know what consumers are really doing actually with the recipes and with the product. So it's good for them because it gives them insights. And they have brand content they can put on their websites, on packaging, or even on TV. And they can say, this is well, the real things you can do with our product. But what if? Somebody makes awesome food, but the brand is not yet a sponsor. It's all right. We give him something else. We can't give him cash money, of course, but we give him access to a special page with rewards, like use discount on cell phones, on, a, on a home uh, furniture, or stuff like that. So, but I'm going to be very honest with you. Nobody does it. Everyone go for cash. No one is making awesome recipes with what brands. So people come to our platforms to actually make recipes with brands. So, so how many brands do you have? We have, now in France, on this test market, we have about 25 brands, and uh, we have about 6,000 registered members. So is it like Danone? Uh, yeah, Wesley? we have what huge have? brands like uh, uh, cheese brands like Saint Morel, Caprice des Dieux. We have also Soul Cream, like Elevir. Uh, we have also the cream cheese from Elevir, and also the, 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 the Soul Cream and Mascarpone, and stuff like that. We have Naturalia. If you like bio food and vegan food, you will love this brand. You have the of vegan course. stuff? Of course. All the best French vegan stuff you have? We have the best vegan stuff with Naturalia. And you know what? We even have, we pay for vegan recipes with no brands. If you have a good vegan recipes, I buy it. You Me. buy it? I buy it. Why? Why, Why? do you do that? Why do we do that? We do that because for us it's important to have uh, some, some thematics that actually do not have yet much brand content. We believe that those are the future themes uh, that interest people in their daily lives. Right now there's no major big industrial brand that, uh, that actually uh, produces uh, vegan, uh, ready to prepare food or things like that. Gluten free, uh, no sugar, uh, food, uh, no eggs, you know? No like, eggs, no yeah, bacon. We have yeah. recipes with no, no eggs, for no example. No chicken, yeah, no yeah. fish. Yeah. Yeah. No nuts, no things like that. Because you know what? People are looking for this kind of recipes, but there are no brands or no media set that is giving us. So we get to pay for that. People want no nuts, really? <laughs> yeah, because sometimes yeah. You, you, get, you get sick. Yeah, you get it's sick, not that yeah. they don't want, it's just yeah. that they can't have or have allergies. Might die, you know? allergies. Allergies. So allergies is, is also... No, no milk? Yeah, we have also recipes gluten -free. for people, gluten-free. Yeah. 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 Gluten-free is one of the biggest uh, uh, thematics. Because uh, some people want that and they don't know how to make it, so they come to you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, think about things. Some people are so sick that they can't eat the food they used to eat like 10 years ago with a lot of gluten inside. So we need to find the taste again, but with gluten-free products. So how you do that? Well, you have to create recipes to restructure like pastas. Like if you were eating pastas and now you're sick, you can't eat pastas like before, like carbonara, right? 
So some people, very smart people, they created homemade recipes that looks like carbonaras or pizzas and you can eat like before. So we think it's very important because this is people's life, right? So this is how we are working. But actually food is only the first step of what we are doing because this is about food, but we are about crowdsourcing user content. And we are going to start new verticals. Yes, we are going to start uh, beauty, fashion, do it yourself. Everything that can be crowdsourced. Basically, um, we will pay for any type of uh, content you can provide that is branded. Yeah, you know what? Because you know better than anyone else. Today, when you give your content to a media site like Food Recipes, what do you get in exchange? Nothing. Nothing. Why that? Is that, is that fair? That's is that fair. honest? Is that normal? You do all the work. Exactly. To take the food and make something good. And you know what? To get what? Very bad advertising, huge banners useless, and you know what? Even the people buying the banners, they don't get any benefit of it. So we decided it's time to break the model, it's time to change the media site. It's not about traffic, it's about value. And it's if you can content. get content value, man, come on. You buy people's content because what you do has a value. So stop giving it for free. We buy it, brands are very happy because you teach them something. And you know what, brands, all those brands, we didn't have to ask them too much because they said I don't know my consumers I want to know him and I think it's a, a valuable to give back you know when you buy the same brand of oil for generations when you buy the same salt or the same cheese what do you get after 20 years of loyalty nothing right so it's normal for brands to give back a little bit to get your your savoir faire you know your know-how about the product we think it's fair. So just a few months? How, how long? Five, yeah, months, five, months five months old. Five months old. We're making profits already. We're expanding in four countries. Uh, we are going to the US pretty soon. So and we're looking us. for VCs. Yeah. Because we want to go really fast. You want to like uh, go faster than Airbnb? Oh, for Airbnb, sure. Airbnb. Yeah. <laughs> we can do better. Yeah. <laughs> we can do a lot better because Airbnb. You need to own a home, right? Well, we are not talking about homes or something big as a house. We are talking about what you know. Your brain. Exactly. Yeah. And we are talking about not foodies or bloggers. We are talking about the Consumers. real family. But you know what is a family in 2013? A family is just a mom lonely with a little children. That's, that's a real family today. So we are looking for those people who every day they need to be smart about food. They need to be very smart about what they are cooking. So we are looking for those guys. And all our members, they are not fooders or bloggers. They are those real people, the bus drivers, the taxi drivers, the worker. Uh, you know, all those real people, we are working for the people. We are not working for the hype. So that sounds awesome. Uh, are you going to get involved in kind of like monetizing cooks? Like where uh, you have a uh, map and you find where the cooks are and you can... Or is it nothing to do with what nothing, you can do? Nothing, nothing at all. No. The only recipes. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, whoever you are, you might not have a place to receive people, maybe you don't want to receive people, but you just want to share what you know and make a little bit of money with it. You don't want to get involved in the... the Airbnb the, kind of stuff? No. No, it's not our job and uh, we, we have already our hands full with content. So it's not in the pipe yet. We're not thinking about that. Alright, so uh, cool. Are you going to get acquired by Google? And when? Hopefully very soon. Next year? <laughs> Next year is a good time for you, right? Next year. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go eat.